How are you, Miss Olivia? I'm very well. Pleased to see you again. I know. It's so lovely <laughs> to see you again. No, and it's so lovely to see you in two movies this weekend. Great. Anna Karenina mm -hmm. and Hyde Park and Hudson. Yes. You have a knack for stealing scenes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell Kira that. <laughs> <laughs> or Laura. Or oh, Laura. Wow. Well, and it's fantastic. You know, yesterday at Anna Karen and I was like, who? Oh my God, it's Miss Olivia. <laughs> and you are amazing as Eleanor Roosevelt. Thank you very much. It How, to me. What attracted you to making the film? Oh, where to start? Working with Bill Murray again. Richard Nelson, who wrote one of my favorite plays that I ever did, writing the script. Roger Michelle directing me. I've been chasing him around award ceremonies for years, saying, put me in a play or in a movie. And then the Lady Eleanor. I mean, how could you not want to tackle one of these icons, but also how could you not be terrified of, uh, of someone who either, you know, she, many people love her, many people hated her because she was so extreme, but everyone has an opinion about her. I found it fascinating that she had her own article or her own column back in the day. Yeah. I don't think they can do that. I mean, they can, right? But no other first ladies have ever done that. And it's long. It's not like a paragraph. This She wrote a lot every day. It was called My Day, and she wrote it every day. And it could cover what she ate for breakfast or a pamphlet about immigration that she summarizes and advises her readers to read the original. I mean, she just was on it from the domestic to to the international political. Wow. She, it, my day, you know, people should read it and learn even now. That's probably her blog, right? Mm. But the way yeah. you know, her blog. It was her blog. Right? But it was a long blog. It wasn't like, you know, it wasn't a tweet. We're right, talking, right. you know, we're talking <laughs> a couple of pages. Wow. She's an amazing woman. And and she is I mean forward thinking for mm. her age, for the time period, don't you think? Yeah, she was, but you know, I uh, people say that she was before her time, but actually I think we've regressed since then. You know, I think uh, there are definite reigns on uh, Michelle Obama would never be given the freedom or the power that Eleanor had. Right. I think people are afraid You're of right, right. tough women and I think Eleanor achieved more than than many of the women certainly Hillary you know America did not want uh, uh, Hillary as a as a president right. and uh, I I think people are afraid of strong women and that's I think America is yeah. <laughs> not the whole world no I, I can't possibly comment right I'm trying to sell my movie to America give me a break <laughs> now, how did you research your role um, I tried to actually avoid the history books for, for the immediate practicality of playing her and went to the internet and watched. Yeah. Uh, she, there's a lot of footage of her giving formal sort of UN addresses, but um, there's a couple of her telling jokes, which is where I went. Because in, in this, we're about the informal Eleanor and the slightly wicked and, uh, and uh, what's the word, unconventional Eleanor. So right. there's some funny uh, clips of her on the internet. Of there is. It's funny. The movie really is funny, emotional, and mixes po politics and p personal seamlessly. Yeah. Last question, though. What's the best way to eating a hot dog? Do you know, I actually don't know. This is a bit of research I didn't do. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I think the only thing is that it's, it's impossible to make it a non-sexual activity. <laughs> Right. I try not to. <laughs> and we didn't shy away from that in this movie. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to see you again. See you again. Take care. Good luck and everything. Thanks, guys. Thank you.